Here's a look at that chip tester. It's got the manufacturer listed right here on it. Precision Motion with the phone number and patent pending. And it comes in a nice little zip socket here to put the chip in. Little LED display. And close the zip socket and it shows zero, 00. That's because I put in a 74... 100 7400 in there whatever kind of 7400 series logic chip that I put in there it'll show me the the last two digits or three digits if it's a three digit number you know it'll show me that and um, here's the manual open it up though and we can see there's the manufacturer and look at that Phone number not in service, 1988. So I have no idea if the company still exists or if these things are available on eBay. I haven't checked. I don't know how hard these things are to come by, but it's very handy, very helpful. You know, it's got a nice list of all the different chips it'll test, not only 7400 series, but we got 4,000, and yeah, just look at all that stuff. There's a lot of things here. I don't even know what they are, but there's a few particular values that you need sockets, different adapters, according to these specifications here. And they're all, those adapters are labeled by the number, by the letters here for certain chips that need to have a certain type of adapter um, but coming back to the 7400 there's also the 7414 put that in there and it shows me a 04 instead so I come over here you know that seems very suspicious so 7414 lo and behold it really is supposed to show a 04 but most other chips, most of the more common chips like the 32, that's the quad OR gate, and uh, zero, zero, the quad AND gate, zero, 04, zero, 05, you know, let's see here, I think the 86, I think that's a XOR, 74, that's a flip-flop 76 is a different type of flip-flop or is it 70 yeah so yeah 76 and 74 you know a lot of the more common chips the uh, number on the display is exactly the same as the number of the chip itself and here's a look at the inside of the chip tester it's really old school all through hole Got Toshiba. Looks like date codes here are uh, 85, 84 and 85. Copyright 1985 and ooh, 86 too on the circuit board. So there you go. Looks like a vintage 86 device. And only two years later. According to the manual, the phone number went out of service, so I have no idea what happened to the company. Here's a look at the ROM 1985 Don W. Stoner, and I also noticed up here a copyright Don Stoner, revision C. So apparently this whole company, this uh, precision motion, looks it's probably a one-man band, just one or two people working on this thing it's a really nice product works very well after what almost 28 years since this thing was made 27 28 years it still works great so that's a look at the precision motion chip tester see you later